People often ask me for laptop buying advice, and many times I point them in the direction of the Apple MacBook Air, but it's not a perfect laptop, and I know some people just don't want an Apple computer. Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie Cha for All Things D, and for this week's product review, I checked out a MacBook Air competitor from Sony called the Vio Pro 13. The first thing I noticed about this Windows 8 Ultrabook is its design. It's a beautiful machine that's incredibly sleek and lightweight. Um, I've got the new MacBook Air here, and when compared, as you can see, the Vio is smaller. I used it as my main computer for about a week, and it's really easy to tote around, and the carbon fiber construction uh, is sturdy and durable. Inside, you've got a 13.3-inch touchscreen with a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. It's sharp and bright, and even while sitting on my couch and with a laptop on my coffee table, I could still make out fine details when watching HD videos. Now, Apple didn't make any changes to the MacBook Air's display, and it has a slightly lower resolution at 1440 by 900 pixels, but you have to get up really close to notice the difference. The Vio does have a touchscreen, though, which is supported by Windows 8. Uh, it was very responsive, and I actually ended up using it a lot for launching apps since um, I found the touchpad to be a bit stiff. The keyboard, though, is comfortable to use and roomy, uh, and it's also backlit so you can use it in darker environments. Now, both the Vio and the MacBook Air use Intel's latest fourth generation processor, which promises longer battery life and better graphics performance. In general testing, I found the Vio to be a very speedy machine, handled everyday tasks with no problem, and I even played a couple games on it like Endless Skater, and the graphics looked good. Um, though I wouldn't really play power intensive games on it. Compared to other Windows Ultrabooks I've tested, the BIOS battery life was good. I could almost make it a full work day on a single charge, and in Walt Mossberg's uh, harsh battery test, it lasted almost six hours. But in that same test, the MacBook Air got over 10 hours. Now, Sony does sell in an extended battery pack, which nearly doubles the battery life, but it adds extra bulk to the laptop and costs an additional $150, so for my money, I'd rather go with the MacBook Air. Uh, but if you are a Windows user, I think the Vio Pro 13 is a very beautiful and solid machine. You can read more about it as well as learn uh, more about the new Intel processors at allthingsd.com. I'm Bonnie Cha. Thanks for watching.